Hey everybody, welcome. This is Wendy. So excited that you're here today. I'm going to show you how to make a really super simple ornament. I cannot take credit for the design of this ornament. I saw this online on a Facebook group that I'm currently part of um, where they sell essential oils. So I've kind of jumped on that whole bandwagon. I'm not going crazy with it, but um, this is honestly what got me sucked in. Um, I wanted to make this ornament and I wanted to make them smell good and have them hang on a Christmas tree for people and have them smell good. You just saw that, right? That was a fly. So if you slow the video down, you'll, you'll see it again. Um, yeah, we've got flies. I live in the country. All right. So there he was again. You see that? All right. This one will be George. The last time I had a fly in my video, I think we named him Fred. So this guy could be George. Um, you notice they're boys. Pesky. That's right. So, um, yeah, this is a twig off a tree outside. And then I took a whole bunch of Stampin' Up! ribbons, which are linked in the description below the video if you want to buy any of them. And I'm just going to trim them all at an angle going up. So kind of making a triangle shape or a tree shape. That's the whole point of this ornament is it's supposed to look like a little tree and then you use this awesome Christmas spirit essential oil on it and then it makes it smell like Christmas and kind of smells like a Christmas tree and so um, that's the whole goody goody right here. All right now I'm using my hot glue gun to which sucks because you shouldn't have to push your your glue through your hot glue gun but anyway. Um, and I've got a piece of jute twine and I'm going to wrap it two times around the top of the stick just around in a circle um, I used the hot glue because I really wanted to make sure this stayed put I didn't want it falling off and the person to take the ornament out of the bag and then there's no way for them to hang the ornament up really the idea of this is that it's a diffuser um, it's like a diffuser to go on your tree so I'm gonna double knot this here at the back so I've wrapped it around the front twice double knotting in the back and then I'm taking both ends pulling them up and creating a little loop and pulling a knot through and then trimming the excess off so now I've got my little hanger dilly bob here's my Christmas spirit this essential oil is for sale you can purchase it from me if you want to um, you just use my link and look for Christmas spirit essential oil it's linked below the video um, and then I had to make a tag. We couldn't have a cute gift in a bag without a tag. Am I right? <laughs> so the whole point of this is it's just going to be a fun, simple little gift. You know, we always need those little gifts hanging around that, um, this sounds horrible people, but aren't for anybody specific, but you just know you're going to need a, a couple little things here or there to give out to somebody or to throw on a gift um, you know maybe give somebody a bottle of wine and then throw this in in addition to it you might notice I'm using these little bitty ink spots this was my daughter's idea so when I I subscribe to paper pumpkin so every month I get a little bitty ink spot with my paper pumpkin kit and I hang on to those so she said mom when you're making stuff different colors um, you should just use the ink spots it would be a lot easier god she's smart Okay, so now I'm using my copper embossing powder, making sure nothing's gonna stick to this where I've inked it. Taking my embossing buddy, rubbing it over the cardstock. Gonna go ahead and use Versamark ink with my uh, sentiment here. By the way, I'm using the Ready for Christmas stamp set. That is where the tree is from, and that's there was our fly again. Did you just see George? And um, then my sentiment here, which is a wish for everything merry. And we're going to use copper embossing powder over that. I really feel like I need to explain to you. Okay, then I heat set it. Now we're going to cut it out. Let me explain this. I'm not a dirty person. My home is not dirty. I live in the country. I have chickens. It's getting cold outside and it's warm in the house. So what happens this time of year is we have flies show up. It's disgusting. They show up and they, they move in. And in the summer, they're here because everybody has their cows and their horses and everything around us. And we have the local county fair right here in town. And so I've got them in the summer. It's disgusting. I'm sorry about it. It's horrible. But, you know, we have a friend. We have a visitor for our video. So there's that. 
All right, so we're using some of this awesome, beautiful, shiny pear pizzazz ribbon. Again, linked below the video if you wanna get any of this ribbon. And I'm just going to double knot it and then tie a bow and trim it off. And then I'm gonna use a piece of linen thread to adhere my tag. So I just take the linen thread and I'm gonna run it up underneath this piece of ribbon here. It's a little tricky to get going at first, but once you find the little spot there, it'll slide right through because it's up against that um, bag slides through with no problem and then you can pull it through and add your little tree tag to the front and I also made one with some cherry cobbler ribbon at the top you guys should comment below the video and tell me which one you like best because I'm not finished bagging all these I'm making 12 uh, 14 of them and I haven't finished bagging them all so tell me which one you think looks best the green at the ribbon at the top or the red ribbon at the top let me know okay so that's it that's this project all the goodies are listed in the description below the video over on my blog as well at loveandstampin.com. You know when you order from me, um, I always send out goodies and thank yous and all of that. Appreciate your orders. Thanks so much for tuning in. Here's some other videos for you in the 12 Weeks of Christmas series. Click on the little circle to subscribe.